Have you ever come to putting shops into your park and thought, oh, I want them all to look the same, but these pre-builds aren't up, up to scratch? Well, if you want to create a really quick looking sort of shopping area like this one, stay tuned because we're going to go through a really s simple way to create all of this scenery and get the stalls in. So what you want to do is go into the facilities menu, pull up a building that you like the look of already. I personally like the Pirate Villa staff building and you want to place this down. What you're going to do is come out of the facilities menu, click on your building and go to edit building. Now this is actually editing all of the different little bits that build up the building. So you can come in here and delete out this wall, delete out this panel here, here, uh, this one here. And then you want to do the same on the other side. If you point at the piece you're trying to get rid of and you press Y, you can quick delete them. So you don't actually have to select every bit, but it can be a bit fiddly. So just be careful if you're trying to use that method. Now, there's this nice arch in the middle. And what I want to do is copy that. So if I select that and I come down to this duplication menu here, I can replace that where I want it. Now, I'm going to use the grid so it aligns. I'm going to place one on both sides. Next, what I want to do is take out this final support. On your last building, you're going to keep the support in, but for the means of creating the multiple buildings next to each other you want to remove this one so i'm going to delete that and delete the support now that will obviously vary depending on the pre-build that you use but for mine that's the area that repeats and we don't want that re repetition and then what i'm going to do is actually remove the staff building from here so what we've got right now is a scenery piece that's built and ready for three different stores going to do is click on your building, hold Y and go to duplicate and surface move. You'll then get a duplicate of that structure. You'll be able to zoom out slightly and then align these how you want. Now for this, this building, I tend to have it so it looks like the two roof pits are part of one. And as you can see, I've now got section for six shops straight in and sorted. Now, to demonstrate how you put all the shops in and aligned, it's super simple. All you've got to do is go to the create menu instead of the facilities menu select your buildings and what you're going to do is align them now what i try and do is have them so they're just behind the pillars it can be a little fiddly sometimes with the snap but it works great once you get in there and it'll start creating this grid of stores and then all you do is work your way across And fill in all the stores you want. Let's let's get some of these bottom real ones in. And there you go. Super quick way that you can create a structure to hold multiple stores that all look in keeping with the area. Now this method you can repeat and you can use throughout your park. What I tend to do is use this as demonstrated for a shopping region. I hope this video has helped you feel a bit more comfortable about adding scenery around your stores and creating a bit more of a shopping district rather than scattered stores around your theme park. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.